Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Wednesday, January 12th, 2022. 28 degrees at 10.15 a.m. and I am your host, Bach Kamal. I'm a sinner and I am here with my brother, Prince and co-star friend, or Luke, or John. My brother, Prince and co-star Maxi. Oh, boy. Today, we are going to have nine hours and three minutes of daylight. Tomorrow, we're going to have one minute and 39 seconds more than we did today. And we gained 18 minutes of daylight since the solstice. We got lots of information to tell you. I think we're going to have a pretty damn good show today. Yes, we are. City chickens flying in, four of them there. We had a whole bunch of ducks out there this morning. Uh, at one point, I think there were about 20. And there's Mr. Blue Jay just landed up in the top of that maple. But we had something very new we've never had in this yard before, at least in the winter, that we know of. There were deer tracks, and there are deer tracks out in the yard. It looks like a deer came and ate some of the feed during the night. So... Um, yeah, uh, we've got to move on with our disclaimers and trigger warnings. We may use profanity, say things that aren't politically correct, uh, words like jubblies, uh, call transgender people, you know, fucked in the head, things like that. But anyway, man, eh, maybe that was a little harsh, but I don't know, whatever. If you want to fucking pretend you're something you're not, that's fine with me. Just don't expect me to believe it take part in the charade. Anyway, and we, you know, trigger warnings, we might show you dead things like Mr. Moth right there. He's still dead. Uh, and speaking of deceased, on this day we lost Seiji. We lost Uncle Seiji, and there he is three years ago. He had congestive heart failure, and I was just devastated because it came three weeks after the loss of Joseph. It was not a good period that time of the year for as far as cats you know we lost joe we lost sage audie had a stroke and went blind mikey got really sick but anyway we survived and they're with us in our hearts we think about them every day kisses yeah i love you sagey he was such a sweet boy and he was such a talker and you'd have had to have known him and i wished more people did but he was just an awesome soul and an awesome being and it's another one where I just wish I could have done more for him. I let him down. I just wish there could have been a better... Well, never mind. Anyway, four city chickens up on the wire. We got some beans cooking for hummus today. Max and Mikey were supposed to go to the vet. We got out there uh, and discovered they are closed because they have five people that were displaying COVID symptoms. How sick they were, who knows. Could be flu and cold, you know. But they're going into full-blown detox and close the place and disinfect everything mode out there. So we got to reschedule their appointments, Mikey and Max, their annual checkups. Um, yeah. So anyway, after we stopped and picked up some lotion from Des and gave her some... French onion soup we made yesterday. There's a chickadee over in that tree. There he goes. Uh, but we had a good day in the kitchen yesterday. Before we started cooking and everything, though, we pedaled over to Northern Exposure to the drugstore and picked up uh, Sammy's refill for his blood pressure medication. Stopped at Save a Lot. Came home. We baked bread. We cooked some eggs and made egg salad sandwiches or sa egg salad for sandwiches. And we made French onion soup yesterday, so today we're going to make some schnitzel. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get out there. It's awesome out there. It really is. And I do hope to get out there and do a little bit of riding. Not a whole lot, but maybe a couple, three miles. Who knows? At this point, though, we can only speculate. But, yeah, look at this sweet boy. Oh, look at that sweet boy. Look at this sweet boy. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to pause. Never the spirit is born. The spirit shall cease to be never. 
There was a time when it was not, and in beginning our dreams. Birthless and deathless and changeless remains the spirit forever. Death has not touched it at all, dead though the house of it seems. There is no death, only a change of worlds, only a change of worlds. Sage is always going to be with us in our hearts, that's for sure. He showed up a couple weeks after we lost Mischief back in 2007. And I had an S10 pickup back then and it had sliding back windows, you know, and I'd leave them open. It was in the summer, it was in July. And I'd go out to my truck and he, what he would do is jump up into the box and then climb through those windows and sleep inside the cab. He was a stray. He, he, he had obviously belonged to somebody because he was neutered. Um, but he ended up here and we got him in and he had so many of Mischief's characteristics it was it was just it was uncanny. And he did. He he grabbed my heart just like that and we got him in and he joined our family and he was. He was a talker and he loved to he just loved everybody, you know. He had a really good relationship with this little girl that lived next door. He would go sit at the, on her front porch and wait for the school bus to come home. Or the, wait for the school bus to drop her off. And uh, well, it's just unbelievable how friendly and nice he was. And I can't say enough about him. And so grateful that I was able to share a part of my life with him. That we were able to share our lives together. But yeah, there's a lot of grief and pain that I let him down, you know, and that there wasn't a facility that could take care of his heart issue that he had in town here. The local vets can't do much. There's not a full-blown veterinary hospital like the closest ones several hours away, and he would have never made it. So anyway... Seiji. There's that Seiji. I could go on and on and on about him. Well, we got... About 24 city chickens up on the wire. Still sitting here with friend. Finished our coffee. In fact, made a regular carafe and then I made some espresso out of some bad coffee. And that was a bad idea. Next time I get a big idea like that one, I'm going to sit back and wait till it passes. So anyway, it smells like the beans are cooking for our hummus. Started washing some dishes. Probably going to get back to doing that. Um, I don't know what we're going to do. I'm going to do some yoga and the usual things, you know. But, uh, yeah, we'll see what kind of ambition we have. It is a beautiful day to be outside right now, but me, nah, I go out in the extreme days like yesterday when it's balls freezing cold. Because I'm so bold and manly. Some of us, you know, we try. We try. Instead of these snowflakes and soy boys that are out there now, I gotta tell you. What happened to the world I grew up in? It was fucked, you know, but it's not as fucked as it is now, that's for sure. It's not as fucked as it is now. But life is still good. You wanted city chickens? We got them. How many sins could a sinner sin if a sinner could sin sins? That's the question for the day. Hey, look at who's back here. Look at who's back here. Yeah, you're a good boy. Alrighty. So we're just about ready to go start throwing our hummus together and plugging away at some yoga. And I think that's about all we're going to have for this day. What do you think, buddy? Huh? What do you think? You're going to get comfy here again? Hmm? You're going to get comfy with me? Oh, look at it. Popping up and down. Oh, boy. That's a pretty big crew out there. Yes, it is. So anyway, oh, there they go. Piss off.
and thank you for not tuning in. Look at them go. Look at them go. Is that awesome? Yes, it is.